Hello there. Um, welcome back <laughs> to my channel. I always get so awkward at the intro part, but um, in case you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Christy Ann, and I swear this is hopefully going to be the most concise and informative video that I will be making as of now on my channel. <laughs> But what we're here to do today is I'm finally, I know, finally going to be showing you guys how I um, seal and finish my diamond paintings. You know, everything that I do from, you know, sealing the diamond painting to painting the borders and how I go about doing that. It's honestly a really simple process, so this video could probably just be five minutes long, but I'm going to, you know, in real time show you what I do to, um, just do everything. <laughs> I'm gonna show you in depth what what you're gonna need as well as um, how to do it and a nice up close look at it as well as some maybe do's and don'ts for um, this process. But um, it's definitely beginner friendly for those who are new to diamond painting. Um, I do this for all of my diamond paintings now. I always seal them even if they're diamond art club kits just because I'm rough with diamond paintings and I just don't trust myself to be careful. Um, and then I can't afford to frame every single diamond painting that I do because most of them I hang up. So I paint the borders and it's a cheap, easy, simple process. You can, after you paint the borders, you can then just um, pin them to the wall or use the flat command strips to hang them up and very cost effective. <laughs> and yeah, very easy and beginner friendly. So without further ado, let me go show you guys what you're gonna need to get started on this. The very first and probably most important thing you're going to need first is a finished diamond painting. <laughs> so this is Star Maker, and this is what I'm gonna be using as an example to show you guys how I do this process. You're also going to need the glue that I use, which is the Tombow Mono Aqua Liquid Glue. I'm going to have this, as well as all of the other um, products linked down below in the description for easy access. I buy this off of Amazon. It's usually three to $5 a bottle, but I usually buy them in bulk because you can save money by doing so. For the gluing portion, you're also going to be needing an old toothbrush. Please use a toothbrush that you never ever use <laughs> again. So I only use this for cleaning or craft related stuff. Now onto the painting portion. The paint that I use is the Black Apple Barrel um, Matte Paint. This will also be linked down below. It's a very um, cheap and affordable paint and it gets the job done. And the last thing you're gonna need is of course a paintbrush for painting the borders of your diamond painting. And you can use a large paintbrush like I typically do, but I just dropped it. Um, <laughs> but you can, um, if you, want to paint very close to the diamonds without worrying about getting paint on them, a smaller paintbrush would be the best way to go about it. Perfect, so now that you know what tools you're gonna need, I can now take you up close and let's start sealing this painting. So here we have our lovely diamond painting. Um, I have it partially rolled out right now, but the very first thing that I'm going to do is, especially for square diamond paintings, um, I'm going to kind of take my hand and feel off the entire, uh, like take a feel <laughs> over the entirety of the diamond painting to make sure that none of the drills are um, pushed upwards. And if I feel any, I'm just gonna press them down. I don't feel any because this is a diamond art club kit and the quality is amazing. <laughs> but I also do this for um, round kits. I give it a feel, make sure all the diamonds are in place before I start sealing them. Just makes my life a little bit easier. So, so I'm gonna be sealing off this section for you guys, but now that I know that the drills are placed down there and I'm ready to seal it. So take my glue, and as you can see here, there are two tips. There's the pen tip and then the thicker broad tip. I always use the broad tip for this. So you're just gonna twist it off. And this is a older glue, I guess an older, this is an older glue that I've used before, so there's not much left. So I just peeled off the, the gross excess dried glue, but it's now ready to go. So I'm making sure that all of the glue is at the bottom towards um, where the broad tip is, since we're using that side. And now I can go about sealing it. So the way that I approach this is I'm holding the 
glue pen. I'm so awkward right now. So I'm holding the glue pen and you're gonna lightly squeeze it until you see some glue start to come out at the tip. This looks very, um, you know, I'm not gonna say it, but <laughs> it, we're just gonna go ahead with this. So as, as you squeeze and some of the glue starts to come out, I bring it down to the diamond painting. Come on glue, there we go. And as, a, as it starts to flow out, I squeeze with a consistent pressure the whole time and I go back and forth in like a, almost like a snake-like pattern. And I just go back and forth a little bit and then I let go, wipe off any of the excess glue on the diamond painting. And then I take my toothbrush, I make sure that the bristles are um, not stiff, give it a little rub. And then I go in there and I start doing circular motions to get the glue to not only spread out evenly, but to also go in between the drills on the diamond painting. Now, as you can probably see, it looks a little milky right now. Don't worry, this is gonna be okay. Just kind of trust the process and keep working with it. I also, when I get a little buildup of glue on the toothbrush, I take it and like rub it on the side to get some of the excess off and I keep rubbing it. And I even do motions like this, where you just go horizontally or vertically. But yeah, like I said, this glue does dry clear, but fair warning, it is entirely possible to put too much on there, let it glue or let it dry when it's puddled up in certain areas, and it can have a milky look if you're not careful. Now, it's very clear to see when you put too much glue on because it kind of puddles over the drills. And as you can see from me just continuously rubbing and playing around with it, it's been like only, I think a minute since the glue has been put on there and you can see it's already clear, like clearing up. So if after like a few minutes, especially like five minutes, if it still looks milky, you need to keep working with it because that's how you can allow the glue to dry and it has a milky con consistent look, which is not what we're looking at, looking for. So yeah, so just from me playing around with it and working with the glue, um, I'm very confident that this is going to dry um, transparent and it's going to look beautiful. As you can see, it already looks good. I can barely tell that there's any glue there. And once it's fully dry, you won't be able to tell as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and seal the rest of this painting off camera. But I want to show you something that you want to do after you're done sealing your canvas with your toothbrush. You're going to want to almost instantly when you're done using it, take it to your sink and use soap and water to get as much of the glue off because if you don't do this when the toothbrush um, or when the glue on the toothbrush dries, the bristles are gonna be very stiff and you may not be able to use the toothbrush again. So pro tip, if you don't wanna have to go through toothbrushes, um, definitely clean this with hot soap and water as soon as possible. Any type will do, regular dish, dish soap. <laughs> regular, regular dish soap, dish, oh my God, I can't talk. Regular dish soap will work fine or hand soap just any type of soap to get the glue to come off Okay, now that we're all done sealing the painting the next step We're gonna do is we're going to seal this not seal it <laughs> The next step we're gonna do is we're going to paint the borders now so I'd recommend using maybe a, like a disposable like solo cup or Dixie cup, but I just use a mug um, if you do use like a ceramic um, mug or cup, just be sure to clean it as soon as you're done so that the paint doesn't dry and cake onto your mug. So I'm just gonna squeeze some paint in here. So now I'm just gonna take my paintbrush, get some of that good old black paint. It's going to literally start painting on there. And this is pretty satisfying and fun to do. Um, what I typically do is I usually put paper towels underneath the edges of the border so that I don't get paint on my counter. 
and that's that's typically what I do I'm not doing that in this instance but I'm just painting along there is a hair caught on there and we don't want that come here so you're just gonna keep painting recommend putting paper towels under there so that you don't get paint on the counter if you don't mind that then just be sure to wipe off the paint off the counter as soon as possible once you're done and I'm going to show you that or what I'm doing now is I'm going in here and I'm painting right up close to the drills on top of the excess glue and if you're not careful you can get paint on the drills I always get a little paint on the drills and for me I don't mind a little bit of paint you can use um, a wet paper towel to immediately wipe off the paint but you can always, I, I believe, use a Q-tip dipped in um, nail polish remover to gently lift off that paint if you get any on drills and that really bothers you. You can also go ahead and like put tape on the borders of where the diamonds like end, but that just takes a little too much time for me. So, and that's, I don't do that. So I'm not gonna show you guys how to do that, unfortunately, because I've also never tried it. <laughs> It sounds like too much work for me and I'd rather just be very careful and I'm not a perfectionist so I'm okay if there's a tiny bit of paint on the drills because once this is hung up you're not going to notice the paint on the drills at all so but that's just a personal preference you can totally take this method and morph it and change it to however it works best for you so you're going to paint all the entirety of the border then you're gonna to wanna to let it dry because once this dries, it's gonna look very patchy. So with this paint in particular, maybe there's a all matte black paint where you only need to do this in one coat, but at least for the paint that I use, I do this in two coats and I you have to make sure that the paint dries in between those two coats. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we're gonna finish painting the border. So there you have it. That's how I finish and seal my diamond paintings. Um, like I said, pretty easy. If you guys have any clarifying questions, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them fairly quickly. <laughs> um, as I, like, I, like I said, I will be leaving every all the tools down in the description below, links to them and everything. So hopefully you guys can try this out. Let me know what you think. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful, like I said. So, shorter video, but you don't really need to make a tutorial video really long, do you? <laughs> so, hope you guys liked it. Um, leave a thumbs up if you did. Um, again, questions down below in the comments. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>